Hi guys, how are you guys doing? So as you can see, I'm still awake. It's already 3 past 1 a.m. in the morning and I'm still sitting here and doing this astronomy question. So, yeah, let me, let me show you the question. So actually, I start with this question. So I'm still left with two questions. So, overall, um, it is actually consists of Consisting of six questions overall, uh, I already solved four of them, and I'm still left with two questions. But yeah, I think it's a good time to call it a date um, because it's too late midnight um, right now. So, and I'm s feel very sleepy and sleepless. So yeah, I think yeah, it's it's a, it's a good time and a good idea to to stop and call it a day. Yeah. But before that, I want to show you uh, about the magnificent stuff in front of me. So let me show you. Here we go. This is the magnificent stuff that I meant to show you guys. So how gorgeous, how beautiful it is. This is the plasma sphere that I bought last time on Shopee. So it just cost about, well, 15 ringgit for this size. So this is only about 3 cm and guess what in the previous video I already, I already explained and I've made a video about plasma physics and explained the this plasma sphere and how the arc or this plasma are formed and then why the arc just like following my finger when I put it against the uh, I mean the glass uh, glass sphere right and then in the video I already uh, put the question I write the question uh, for the viewer to answer it in which so for example when I put this fluorescent light bulb nearby so it will glow it will light up so why it is happening like that so yeah so when I put it um, further away so you can see it is not glowing but nearby it it will glows so it is actually well first we need to understand how the fluorescent light glows so it is so inside a fluorescent bulb uh, it is consisting of the mercury vapor or mercury gas you can say so uh, when electrical energy flows through this it will uh, the, the mercury will um, excite us into excited state and then it will uh, go down back it will emit UV um, radiation then this UV radiation will um, interact with the phosphor inside phosphor um, inside the bulb and then will emit the visible light visible light so uh, you need to know that this inside the plasma so it's uh, high voltage generation and it will create the high frequency electromagnetic field so of course the electromagnetic field will uh, flows outside of this uh, will radiate outside of this glass and then it will um, excite this the mercury vapor inside the fluorescent light understand so because of the strong uh, I mean electromagnetic field EM wave EM field it will excite the mercury vapor inside so it's same goes like when the electricity being um, flowed in, uh, inside the fluorescent light bulb so that's how it glows up yeah how interesting is it right fascinating and very gorgeous all right thank you bye, -bye. and good night